Good morning! So we had a very very early night last night after the night market because we've got a very very early start today. It's only 5 a.m. in the morning and we're gonna be driving up the Putu Bank Mountain because we want to see the sunrise as well as see the sea of clouds. So hopefully we get to see that because that's what I came all the way to Kalko for. Wish me luck, let's go! So from the car park below, it's about 200 meter hike on this steep slope heading up to this campsite. So a lot of people camp here on Putubek Mountain, you know, so they can see the sunrise in the morning as well as the sea of clouds. And it's really windy and it's cold and this is like the rainy season which is slightly hotter so you can imagine how cold it will be during winter. Let's see how many degrees it is at this moment. About 18. Ah. I want to one day come here and camp. It looks so fun. And that is the Sea of Clouds. I'm sure on a better day it actually comes up further in but today it's still pretty and we finally got our view of the marshmallow sea of clouds It's just like different views everywhere and everywhere is just as pretty So hard to like decide where I want to We have Krai Kata and Orange this morning with a view. After coming down from the mountain and having breakfast, we are now here on top of another one to see the Pa Songkhel Temple, which is famous for its huge Buddha statue as well as all the mosaics on the temple. So let's check it out. To the white Buddha is this gorgeous mosaic temple. I think what they did is they asked like people to donate their own jewelry and put it on to make up the temple. So they have a lot of little like cute little trinkets like this tiger, this monkey I think, tendon. Dragonfly. It's cute. Gasto for lunch. They sell healthy organic food and also Italian and Italian food. This is Miang Kam. You have it for starters in Thailand, and this is how you eat it. Because it's an organic uh, restaurant, they also have an organic souvenir shop where they sell all kinds of balms and shampoo made from 
natural stuff. Tamarind that apparently is very very popular here in Pachabun, they grow a lot of it. So a lot of people buy these to take home as souvenirs. I spent the last two days exploring around the Kako district and well it's time right now to go spend some time at one of the tourist attractions around the area as well which is the garden here at the Blue Sky Resort where I'm staying. It's full of flowers, lots of pretty uh, fountains, it's also got lots of insta-worthy spots so I'm gonna go enjoy myself. and looking for the sea of clouds so we haven't had chance to have breakfast here at the blue sky so we're gonna check it out today. my time here in the mountainous area in central Thailand, Khao Ko, as well as the Blue Sky Resort. I've had an amazing few days. I mean, the Blue Sky Resort is absolutely breathtaking. It makes me feel like I'm actually in an English countryside. And uh, the rooms are gorgeous. The flower garden is so pretty with all these different flowers. And I heard it actually changes every season. Um, the resort is actually still building. There's going to be much more rooms in the future. And they even have real estate and private villas for family if you want some alone time. And of course, Khao Ko. I didn't know there's so much beauty here. I mean, the mountains just took my breath away and we went to see the sea of clouds early in the morning and we were greeted by just this whole sky full of white fluffy marshmallows and it was amazing. We also went to the military museum, learned a little bit about the history of the area and also went to see one of the most prettiest temple I've ever seen. It's made entirely of mosaic like Gaudi in uh, Barcelona and also a big huge Buddha. If you want to find out more about Khao Ko and the Blue Sky Resort, do click on the link above or you can also head on to the link below. This is Min. Thanks for joining me on this leak at Khao Ko. Thanks for watching. <laughs>